Davis Ford in Fulton is your Ford dealer for new cars, trucks, and SUVs and has a wide inventory of certified pre-owned vehicles. Find your next dream car or truck from our Ford showroom or go online to davisfordsales.com and search our new and used inventory to see what is on our lot. So stop by and test drive the all-new fuel-efficient Ford Focus or Ford Fusion or the new Ford Explorer or F-150. Go further with Davis Ford, 904 West Main Street in Fulton or online davisfordsales.com. All right, welcome back to the Davis Ford pregame show, and we are inside Coach's Corner, brought to you by the Bank of Oklahoma with Coach Sean Cannon. Uh, Coach, it's finally here. Your game day is finally here. You're on the road. Just uh, talk a little bit about how it's been to get ready for the first game. Yeah, it's been a long camp. You know, uh, you know, you only get so many opportunities, 22 practices before you play, and, you know, we, we wrapped up this week. and. You know, feel like the kids are ready to play, and I know they're ready to play somebody besides ourselves. And uh, we're, we're looking forward to going out tonight and, you know, taking the field. And let's let, let's see what let's see what we're going to be like this year. All right. Well, you have a familiar opponent. It'll be the third time we have played Pearl River uh, in consecutive seasons, right. of course. Uh, close game here in Fulton last year. Uh, just talk about what to expect with them as they enter their second year under their new head coach. Well, you know, uh, last year, uh, you know, we, we, we had a good game with them. You know, it was kind of back and forth. We had to stop a two-point conversion there and then, um, and then end up sacking them for the last play of the game. And so they're going to be ready to play. I think they've had this game circled since this new schedule came out last year. And, you know, they're going to have revenge on their mind. That's what I preach to the kids uh, over the last couple of weeks about being ready to go and, and getting ready to get their best shot. You know, they got a lot of new faces. Uh, you know, lost their quarterback from last year. He, he was an early signee. He went to Memphis, so that kind of, uh, you know, helps. And But but they do have a pretty good out-of-stater coming in. And, you know, when it's, it's the land of the unknown always in the first game. Um, you know, schematically wise, what they're going to do on offense, defense, kicking game, and all you work on is what you saw last year. But, uh, you know, we, we, we got to be able to go down there um, and, uh, and handle our business. Okay, one challenge that they do present on defense is that 3-3-5 uh, three, three, defense they run. Can you talk a little bit about that and help us understand more what that is? Yeah, you know, last year, uh, you know, we practiced uh, first two or three games or whatever they did uh, against that pressure package, and they came out and, you know, a couple plays just rushed one guy, you know, and maybe it was because uh, what we did previous weeks and he didn't want get, to get the ball thrown over his head. But I feel like this week, uh, game one, he, he'll, you know, it, it's a lot of backers in the gaps and, and a lot of moving parts and things like that. So we're going to have to make sure we keep our head up offensively and, you know, and, and hopefully they'll run themselves out of the gaps a few times, protect their quarterback. We got to throw and and uh, but but you know, just just like us, just like them, you know, it's going to be a new new for them as well. So it'll be the first time they've you know gotten a live game situation. So uh, you know, we got to be ready to weather the storm for sure. All right, well, you talk about that new guys. The one thing you've talked about all all camps is this is a new team. This is not last year's team. It's a new team. So yep. what do you kind of expect going into this first game from all these new guys? Well, you know, that's one thing. It's a mystery uh, to me and the coaching staff. I've told the kids I'm ready to watch them play, ready to go out and watch them compete. I uh, don't know how we're going to react in a ball game. We've got a lot of unproven – uh, players at, at a lot of positions are going to be have to be key for us this year, and uh, you know I'm hoping there's going to be some surpri surprises out there for us uh, that, that go out and make some plays. But but hopefully uh, guys like Jamel Thomas uh, can, can be a big factor early uh, for us in the receiving game. Uh, Keegan Huddleston, Deshaun Dinkins, guys that carried the football for us last year uh, can provide a little bit of leadership. Uh, you know Will James, Larry Pellison, Shed Ross. Uh, you know, guys has kind of been in the fire offensively a little bit uh, to give us some spark, uh, at least early till we get these nerves settled down and, and uh, get these new kids ready and, you know, kind of settled in to what a game's really going to be like. And then on the other side, the ball defense, uh, you know, uh, got a lot of new faces up front. Uh, you know, looking forward to watching them uh, get in and get after it. Uh, secondary, I feel like we got some uh, decent athletes back there. Hopefully we'll match up to whatever they're going to throw at us this week. And then linebackers, I'm really leaning on those guys because that's our prior oldest position we got on the football team as far as returning guys. So I'm going to rely on those guys early uh, to provide a lot of leadership. Okay, well, uh, one thing you talked about in our media day uh, last week, you talked about the specialty guys as far as your kicking game. You do have those three guys coming back. Just talk about what kind of impact they could make in tonight's game. Well, you know, uh, you know, we, we call them extra points. We call them free points. And that's one thing we got to be able to do is make all our extra points and, you know, protect on our field goal. Last year, you know, we got one uh, early against Gulf Coast game one and Hines game two. You know, very important. We got to protect our kicker. Uh, but, but it all starts with the snapper, the hold, and the kick. You know, that's one thing I preach to them all camp about. And, 
you know, so anytime you get guys that's, that's you know, done those those specialty things in a ball game, punted the ball, kicked the ball, snapped the ball, it always helps as far as those guys knowing what to kind of expect. Um, you know, anytime you flip the field on punt, anytime you can pin them deep on kickoff and, you know, uh, make some field goals if we have to kick them and, and put points on the board, it's always going to be key for us. All right, and speaking of keys, Coach, the final here, we're at the uh, Keys to Victory, brought to you by Orthopedic Institute of North Mississippi. So what would be your keys to victory tonight? Well, uh, you know, early in the year, game one, always turnovers. Uh, we've got to win a turnover battle. we got to hold on to football ourselves, and uh, we got to take it away on defense um, and be able to capitalize on those turnovers. Uh, and, you know, probably second uh, is, is eliminate penalties uh, as much as we can. You know, uh, nerves are going to be out there, you know, and, and – and, aggressive penalties and things like that I can live with, but we got to make sure we eliminate the ones that's going to happen before the ball snap. And, uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll take care of that part. And we've got to play well in the kicking game. You know, if you watch the games this past weekend, uh, the ones that, uh, that, that didn't do too well, that's what happened. They turned the ball over. They had, they had blunder plays in the kicking game, and they created penalties that backed them up or even give the other team you know, opportunities to keep the drive going. So those are probably the big, biggest three things we got to do uh, going into game one uh, is, you know, for us to be successful tonight. All right, Coach. Well, appreciate your time and good luck tonight. All right.